Gautam Buddha always used to tell his students that our words can be very powerful. He said that our tongue, which we use to speak, is like the sharpest knife in the world. He also said that the most dangerous weapon in the world is our words, even though they don't physically hurt people, but our words can hurt people emotionally. Our words can be a source of strength, but they can also be a weakness if we don't know when, where, and how much to speak. When we speak kindly and wisely at the right moments, it can lead to success, but if we speak unkindly or at the wrong times, it can make our life very difficult. So friends, today I'll share a story about the importance of staying silent and how it has the power to change your life. This story will help you understand how silence can be powerful. Once upon a time in India, there was a famous Buddhist monk who lived deep in the quiet forest, far from the noise of the world. He was a very meditative person and was also very famous throughout India. One day a king came to him and said, Respected monk, I always feel tired, frustrated and upset. My mind is very restless, even though I have everything, wealth, fame and all the luxuries one could desire. There is still no inner peace within me. Oh monk, please help me to get rid of this restless mind. The monk said, You already hold the answer within you, but you have never discovered it. I want to do an experiment. Would you like to do that experiment after this experiment? There will be no unrest and worry in your life. The king was very upset after hearing all this, but he asked the monk to tell him what to do and said, I am ready to do anything for my peace of mind. Then the monk replied in a calm voice, For the next 15 days, you will stay in my monastery and live like a normal person. For these 15 days, you will sit alone in silence and speak as little as possible. The king agreed to the monk's plan. On the first day, he noticed that his mind was more restless than usual. Many questions and thoughts kept popping up, and he felt uneasy living a simple life like everyone else. He really wanted to talk but resisted the urge and stayed completely silent, just sitting quietly. But as the night went on, he began to feel an unexpected sense of calm and happiness. This experience puzzled him because he couldn't understand why his restlessness was fading away. The next day the king continued to spend time in solitude, watching nature, flowers, plants and birds in the sky. For the first time, he truly appreciated the beauty of nature surrounding him. He could observe and connect with the natural world all around him. Ten days went by and all the inner restlessness and chaos in his mind gradually vanished. On the twelfth day, he found himself entering into deep meditation as his eyes closed on their own. He closed his eyes and entered into a deep state of meditation and his mind became free from worry. The king experienced profound inner peace. After spending the last three days in deep meditation, he approached the Buddhist monk and said, Respected monk, I have discovered why my mind was so troubled. He explained, as I figured out the reason for my distracted and troubled mind. The monk asked, uh, please share with me what you've learned. The king replied, I used to talk too much and spend a lot of energy on people, often thinking negatively about them. This excessive talking and negative thinking wasted my time and made my mind disturbed. As a result of this behavior, I couldn't perform my tasks effectively and I started failing in almost everything. These continuous failures made me even more unhappy and easily annoyed. It continued to negatively impact my life. However, these 15 days were a transformative experience. Now, I feel like I'm truly living life to its fullest, and I realize that before this, I was living it the wrong way. I also realize that we don't have to force meditation. It happens naturally. The Buddhist monk mentioned that it's not just you, many people in the world talk too much. Even today, many people use to speak to hurt others, and this excessive talking is still causing problems in their lives. The monk explained to the king the importance of being silent. He shared a story about a student who once asked Gotan Buddha why he was silent so often. Buddha replied, I stay silent to dive deep within myself. Silence is the first step to truly knowing yourself. Without silence, self-discovery is impossible. So the first step is to be silent, only speak when necessary, and you'll see that most of our talking about 90% percent is harmful. It would have been better if people don't talk too much, 
it could have reduced about 90% percent of the problems. When people become quieter, there are fewer fights, less restlessness, and less arguing. If both individuals learn to stay silent, many problems in the world could be avoided. Someone who understands the value of silence can be at peace, even in a crowded place. Being alone can be like heaven. The company of others can sometimes make us uncomfortable. It's important to start by finding peace within yourself and embracing silence, allowing your inner energy to flow. Invite your thoughts to settle down. If you wake up and feel disturbed by the presence of others, it's a good idea to close your ears and reconnect with your inner self. You'll find a sense of freshness inside yourself because that's where your life originates. It's not in anyone else. It comes from the same source as you when no one else can take you within. You must go there yourself. So look inward because you are the ultimate ruler of your inner world. That's where life begins and that's where happiness is born. When you look inside yourself, you'll encounter the depths of life and even touch upon the notion of death. This inner journey is like watching your own life go through ups and downs, like the sun rising and setting. Every time you take this inner journey and come back, you'll feel refreshed. It's like you feel cool after a nice bath. This is where you find the richness of life, where you gain new strength and where tiredness, sadness and worry disappear, leaving you feeling as refreshed as a cool body after a bath. In the same way, when someone takes time to be quiet and reflect on their thoughts, they often feel more peaceful and happy afterward. When you really connect with your inner self, you'll find that talking doesn't make your mind feel upset. Instead, there's a constant feeling of calmness inside you. You can talk and still remain connected to your inner self. You can use words without breaking your inner peace. When you do this, your words will have a beautiful quality, like music, and everything will be in harmony. Speaking this way will touch others deeply. When you maintain inner silence, you start to tap into a strong inner strength and break free from societal pressures. You'll find a special joy in life, similar to the joy of those who passionately follow their dreams. Your face will have a new brightness, and your eyes will shine with a unique light. As you dive into the ocean of endless peace, friends, you might have noticed that talking too much doesn't bring peace to the mind. It makes it hard to control our thoughts and to stay focused. People who talk too much find it difficult to concentrate on one task. Because of this, they can't give their full attention to their goals and often miss out on understanding the true meaning of life, making it more difficult to attain their desired success. Furthermore, you may have noticed that those who talk too much are sometimes mocked by others, and those who speak less and stand by their words will earn respect from others because people tend to pay attention to what someone says and trust their words. However, a person with a troubled mind typically finds it hard to succeed because they lack genuine interest in their work. True intelligence lies in knowing when, where and what to say. And those who develop this skill tend to succeed in various situations. A person who speaks less often becomes the center of attention and tends to succeed in various pursuits. When we observe the qualities of great individuals, we find that they use few words carefully consider what they say, and this contributes to their success. In contrast, there are many who talk excessively, often resorting to dishonesty and spreading negativity about others, which can harm relationships and reputations. That's why the people close to them often try to avoid and stay away from them. In ancient texts from different cultures, they often talk about how our words reflect our beliefs and values. Being quiet helps us become patient, which makes us more aware. Meditating can help us understand ourselves better. So my friends, I suggest you spend at least 20 minutes alone in solitude every day. This can bring so much positive change in your life. As we come to the end of this Zen journey, I invite you to become an integral part of our Inspira Zen community. If you found inspiration in this story, Support us by hitting the like button, sharing it with your friends, and leaving a comment below with your thoughts or any Zen stories you'd like to hear next. And for more moments of motivation and tranquility, don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell. Your engagement fuels our journey. Thank you for walking this path of wisdom and enlightenment with us.